video, I'll take you through the workflow for Google Drive assignments within Schoology from a student perspective. I'm in an account here as Angelina Wangen. Homework 4 is her next homework to be done. Before I go to homework 4, let me show you how Angelina can know what's been turned in, what's been graded, and what hasn't been started. You see homework 4 appears there. But over here you can see she hasn't yet turned in 4. She's turned in 2, but it's not yet graded. And up here on the first homework we can see a document has been turned in and it was graded. She got 10 out of 10 points. So from the grades tab a student can tell what's been submitted and what's been submitted and graded. Also if the instructor made any comments they'll appear on this, uh, the right side here. So a student can always know what's uh, coming up, what's been done, what hasn't. And they can access the assignment straight from this particular screen, such as this homework 4 that we'll look at. I'll go ahead and access it from the material screen. Doesn't matter, but just so that you see both. I can also access it from the right side, which lets me know that there's a test 2 and a homework 2 and 3 to be done. So let me go ahead and open homework 4, which opens up in the Google Drive Assignments interface. My document as a student is here. I can work on the document. Putting in my answers directly in this document. This is my copy of the document. Now, if I'm fortunate enough that my teacher could happen to be online at this time, at the same time, uh, I would actually be able to ask questions of my instructor. Let me take the instructor and put the instructor into online. If an instructor happened to be online at the same time, there is a way to communicate with the instructor in real time. If the instructor happened to be, and you undoubtedly have to message your instructor to set this up. So it doesn't happen very often by accident. But you could do this. If you've worked with the instructor, you could message them to set this up. Tell them that you find a time, mutually agreeable time to work together on something. When you're both in a document at the same time, you'll see that. Here I'm in the instructor's account, Dennis' account, and here I can see Angelina is also online in her account. So let me go back to this only happens if the instructor is in using the in progress to access the document of a particular student. That's why I say it would have to be arranged in advance. If I go back to Angelina's, Angelina can now see that Dina has entered her document, her homework, this T, that's Dina there she can actually ask a question in real time. What should I do on number three? That will actually appear in the students, sorry, in the teacher's chat window. Uh, use the mode function And so if you happen to be together at the same time, you can chat. The more powerful use of this is when students are working on a project in a group. More than one student can work on a document at the same time. So if they're preparing, say, Google Slides to do a presentation, two, three, or four students can be online at the same time and can use this chat capability to communicate as they work together on one single document. But that said, uh, that's a chat capability. Uh, suppose she were to submit this document, uh, but it's not yet finished. It, it, it hasn't been finished. Um, she was to go ahead and do a submission. Let me go back to the student account. Uh, by the way, the edit button is useful. I should have mentioned that. 
it can pop the document out into its own window. So if the window you're working in is too small, use the edit button to pop it out into its own document. But it's incomplete. Suppose she submits her assignment. Incomplete. For the instructor, the assignment will move from the in progress to the submissions, and he will he or she will be able to see that document. Seeing that it's incomplete, the teacher can <clears throat> add a comment. Uh, this document is incomplete. By the way, I would be remiss if I didn't go back for a minute to Angelina's accounts. I'm back in the student account here. In in the grades, Angelina can now see that homework four is submitted but not graded. It's been submitted but not not graded. Uh, so she can actually see that she's done the submission. The instructor is going to unsubmit the document to return it to Angelina. Here we're in Dinah's account. Dinah's going to return it to Angelina. He does this by unsubmitting the document. For Angelina, she would see that the document is no longer submitted in her grades. That the document has disappeared. That's and it wasn't graded, not graded, not submitted. That would mean that the document has returned to her. She can click right there and get back to the document. Once she's in the document, she can go look and see the comments that the teacher has made. So if the document is submitted and not graded and then disappears, that's a sign in the Google Drive assignment system that the document has been returned and that it, this, the student needs to do more work on the assignment. So uh, well, then it can continue on and finish up her work on this particular assignment. How many days a bar of soap lasted? for these different Dow for Men products. And and with that done, she can now submit this assignment a second time. And now she sees that she, in her grade section, in Angelina's grade, she can see that she has a document back submitted in. The teacher will see that her document has reappeared in the submission section. He can go ahead and grade this document and make a comment and simply save uh, the comment with the grade. With it graded, Angelina, once she comes back into grades or refreshes the grade screen, she will see that a grade has appeared, that she has gotten a grade on the assignment, in this case 10 out of 10, on her homework for, and so that that assignment is done, complete, submitted, and marked. Homework 2 still is unmarked. So the student can see from the grade screen where they're at in terms of what they have to get in, what's already in, and what's uh, been marked. That's some of the flow and communication uh, for Google Drive assignments. Um, the instructor does get those com replies to comments that the, the student might make do actually appear uh, in the instructor's updates of their Gmail, but the student doesn't see those uh, responses to comments. 
So if an instructor needs to reach out to a student about an assignment, unless the student's paying attention to the grades folder, they might not know they need to resubmit it. Instructors uh, ought to simply send a separate message through the Schoology system to the student that a Google Drive's assignment document was returned for further work. These comments here will appear in Dinah Mutt's uh, Gmail, but they won't appear in Angelina's uh, Gmail. Well, that's a bit of an overview, as I said, of the workflow for a student working in Google Drive assignments, what you see, and how you can keep track of your assignments that are submitted, which ones are marked, and if an ass submitted assignment disappears from your grade screen, go back and see. It's probably been unsubmitted for further work, and there should be comments on the document or possibly a separate message sent through the Schoology messaging system to uh, inform you of what you need to do to complete the assignment.